Have you tried baked sandwich before? Well, it's another taste of sandwich. I've eaten a lot of sandwiches which are fresh one, but in today's video I will be preparing baked sandwich. It is very 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 nice to make a change of taste or a uh, change of dish to see which one is preferable although we eat all of them all the time and this is baked sandwich it is very moist on the east side crispy or crunchy as we may call it at the outside very very nice so stay with me let me show you how i prepare this very simple recipe yeah first of all you have to lay parchment paper on your oven tray you can as well do it direct to the oven tray but i was wondering in case it have to stick let it stick on my paper but it didn't stick anyway so lay them very flat there and get your bread ready. I will be using 12 bread for this recipe. You can as well use any amount of bread corresponding to your family number or numbers in the family. Yeah, here the uh, 12 bread, we took them <laughs> one one and the remaining two, we share them into two, which is equals to four. And we ate one and half bread of the sandwiches for breakfast and it was so filling. To this bread, I will be topping it with my bechamel cream i have a recipe i will leave it in the link because i am doing somehow some of the things you can do with this bechamel cream i have done one already the croqueta you can check it the link will be in the description box uh, box i will also leave in the description box how i prepared this bechamel cream in fact it will pop up in the link in this cream now <laughs> so Drop the bechamel cream on top of the brim, uh, bread sorry, and use your spoon to circulate it or take it around the bread surface. So after spreading the cream on top of the bread, I'll go ahead and add ham or spray ham, two ham on each bread. You can also use any other, you know, protein of your choice in this, but this ham works perfect for it and two is very, very well for two bread. If you are wondering which of the ham that I use, this is exactly what I use. You can get it in any supermarket near you. But I got this exactly in Macadona if you are in Spain. And this is the cheese that I'll be using that I showed as well. Uh, you can use any other vegetable of your choice as a veggies in this sandwich. I'm using grated uh, garbage. If you want, you can use spinach as well. It works very well. So what I'm doing here is to make sure that everything is in line. It should not go far or go uh, you know at the edges of the bread so that after I finish baking there will not be too much mess so I'll go ahead and add the cheese place them on top of it to cover the veggies as well It is normal for sandwich to be so creamy, yes, and moist in texture. So the next bread, I will also go ahead and, you know, put the cream on top of it and make sure that every corner of that part of bread is very, very moist and creamy. You need to enjoy it creamy. That is sandwich for you, yes. So after putting it, I will place that creamy part on top of the cheese just like this and that is it
okay for the topping i'll be using bacon and for this bacon this is what i did to braid i grilled it first in the frying pan to remove the excess oil i don't like having the excess of this oil in my pizza or in any baking that i'm doing because of the test and the oil so i reduce the oil and this is how it is looking now there's no much oil on it because i have a drain them so i'll go ahead and place the bacon on top of the bread as well to make everyone happy in the house we have preferences my daughter like uh, this hot dog a lot in his food in fact she likes it so much so i wanted to make her happy <laughs> this morning so i decided to make two with hot dog toppings and this they came out very well yes All right, this required lots of patience. Eh? <laughs> Thank you so much. If you are still here, I truly, really, really, really appreciate your support. Thank you. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, do me a favor and turn on that red button. It will bring out the bell and you turn on the bell notification sign so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for your huge support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. So finally, the toppings we end with cheese, grated cheese. Yes, this will make it very beautiful when you bring it out of the oven. So I'll just go ahead and top the whole cheese and clean or sweep the tray because there's a lot on the floor there. If not, there will be a lot of mess when you finish. After this, the oven is ready. I have preheated the oven 10 minutes preheating and I grilled. 180 to 200 yes for 25 minutes yes like this if you want it to be too crunchy it all depends on you but this uh, timing was fine because it was not soft but normal grilled okay so here they are after they have been baked looking very beautiful yes the tray in front there i <laughs> left it to be very great and this one at back for the keys yes everybody enjoyed it so do you like this you can give it a try if you like it yes it's about changing you know the way we eat food food is a delight we want to enjoy it whichever way whatever way we like it so here they are i'm going to open it now and show you how the inside are looking because as you can see the bag is very very nice uh -huh. you can see the sand crunch uh -huh. and the inside is very moist yes that is how the inside should be uh -huh. very very yummy <laughs> Yes, take a bite. <laughs> Alright, thank you and see you in my next video. Bye.